I am often asked the question, particularly by people who perhaps are not feeling so confident in themselves at the time, what do other people think of me? How am I seen? And I want people to think really good things about me. And the first thing I say to them is that everybody is going to have a slightly different view of you. People bring their own experiences and feelings to the analysis of others. Some people who perhaps have shared things that, that you guys have in common, perhaps sports that you've played in common or, or music or drama, and they're going to be feeling more sympathetic towards you because they can identify and, and have common ground. But the most important thing that I say to people is, you can't be loved by everyone. You can't be liked by everyone. And if you try, then you lose your identity of who it is you really are. And that's the most important thing. The people who are comfortable in their own skin, therefore, are more likely to be able to connect with other people because they have space in their head. They're not worried about what other people are thinking of them. So the first thing we want to do is to say, OK, well, I'm not going to not care what anybody thinks because that's a really hard thing to do. Let's first of all think about choosing the important people who really matter to you. Whose opinions are they that really matter? Perhaps very close friends or family or perhaps certain teachers that you have? Boyfriend, girlfriend? Who are those important people whose opinions you trust and whose opinions you respect? And then the second thing to do is to ask yourself, what do I think of me? Because actually you're the person in control here. What is the type of person? Who is the type of person that I would like to be? What sort of behaviours would that person engage in in any given situation? What sort of thoughts might they be having? And once you've identified that, because remember that then becomes a goal, that then becomes a goal. And maybe you can talk to some of the people who are important to you to say, this is the sort of person I want to be. And any support you can give me, that'd be fantastic. And maybe it's as simple as a, as a career target that you would like to be an amazing dancer, perhaps, or very good at public speaking, or writing computer programs, whatever. But the point is, chances are, if you're asking yourself, what do other people think of me? you're going to be having some other unhelpful thoughts going on in your brain. And they're the ones that we want to stop. You want to think, what are those thoughts that are unhelpful when you're worrying about, oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing the wrong thing? Stop, stop right there. Okay, stop those thoughts that are going on in your head. Maybe see a big stop sign or a big clanging symbol and start changing them into, these are the things that I would like to be doing in this situation. So a little bit of pre-planning is really important because actually the most important question to answer is what do I think of me? Because you know what, if you like you, chances are a whole lot more people are going to like you as well and you're going to have a very strong sense of identity. So give it a go.